Paramount. We lost Superman to Warner, we lost Marvel to Disney, we even lost Popeye. Who knows what comic we'll lose next? Up in the sky, look! It's a bird! It's a plane! It's Superman! Uh, I was really hoping it was a bird. Superman in Technicolor and presented in a 4x3 format to preserve the integrity of Dave Fleischer's creative vision. Superman has an arrangement with Action Comics. He can cheat on them, but only for an animated short that Action Comics can later buy and forget to renew the copyright on. Hey, Apple released the new Ice Barber. Well, so far, Sammy Timberg's the MVP of this short. I guess I have to like this short because of Dave's solidarity. Ooh, classic Harp Glissando. Spontaneous nation flashback. In the endless reaches of the universe. Oh, damn, just another Land Before Time sequel. Krypton, a planet that burned like a green star in the... Wait, Krypton's the green planet? There Somebody save Botanicus! Advanced, ...and it brought forth a race of supermen whose mental and physical powers were developed to the absolute peak of human perfection. They developed the power to later retcon that explanation into some nonsense involving sun color. One of the planet's leading scientists, sensing the approach of doom, placed his infant son in a small rocket ship and sent it hurtling in the direction of the Earth. Pretty sure that's the general direction of Earth. Good luck, kid. Ugh, we let E.T. and Steven down. They were counting on us. The rocket ship sped through star-studded space, landing safely on Earth with its precious burden, Krypton's sole survivor. A passing motorist found the uninjured child and took it to an orphanage. <laughs> Can't kill Jonathan Kent if you just don't have Jonathan Kent. He found himself possessed of amazing physical powers. Faster than a speeding bullet. Take that, Sky! More powerful than a locomotive. But not as powerful as a boat stuck in a canal. Tall buildings at a single bound. Uh, until the animators the thought, that looks silly, let's just make him fly. Superman. Drink it all in, folks, so this is me. To use his amazing powers in a never-ending battle for truth and justice, Superman has assumed the disguise of Clark Kent, mild-mannered reporter for a great metropolitan newspaper. Meanwhile, at Great Metropolitan Newspaper... <laughs> Oh, there you are, Perry White. I want to see you. Just received another threatening note. Okay, Mr. White. Lois, another note from the mad scientist. Coming in, Chief. Oh, he doesn't mind if she calls him Chief. Well, listen to this warning. He's already Where's stolen the animator's you? desire to sink lips. Beware, you fools. Do you think he means My us? The nasal ray strikes tonight at 12. Total destruction will come to those who laughed at me and failed to heed my warning. But if you only did one of those, you're safe. I strike at midnight. This nut may prove dangerous. Well, let's not jump to conclusions. Yes, you help Lois follow up her lead. She may have an angle on this thing. Yes, sir. But, Chief, I'd like the chance to crack the story on my own. I don't want to work with this douche nozzle. No offense, Clark. Oh, thanks, Chief. But Lois. <laughs> but Lois. What are you, Shatner man? Don't you think that's a dangerous mission? I guess we'll never know. Meanwhile, in the animated adventures of Amelia Earhart, Fearless Flyer, she's barely checking the plane at all. Bicycle safety lied to me. Look, up in the sky! It's still not a bird, Debbie. Later that night, in the tallest building on Seuss Landing... Dr. Claw's grandfather stared at the clock for a while. Oh, he's pet-sitting for Snow White's stepmother. The hour has come. Fermi spinach. <laughs> Time to fire up the old Interocitor, convene with Exeter and Brack. Sound designed by an electric football game. Uh, I like the bubbles. An invisible giant with night vision. Oh, come on. I just let you out. I'm getting a pet door. Oh, why didn't I make sure this place had a landing strip before I left? An intruder must daintily tiptoe down the stairs. So the mad scientist lab is in Dracula's tower from King's Quest 2? 
right door, now cough. <laughs> no pet door, just a pet lock. Oh, I'm by a hydrant. Gotta finish this delivery before I get towed. The best security systems are two-man operations. I'm a reporter for the- Can't you see what I'm trying to tell you? I love you. <laughs> Better be careful and lock up. There are bad guys out there. Action Comics was like, uh, fine, you can give Superman the power of flight, but you'll have to take it away from someone else. So, you want the story? I'll give you the greatest story of destruction the world has ever known. It's called What Jack Mercer is Doing to His Vocal Cords. <laughs> now to send the orange juice through the pipes to the static electricity gun. Damn it, O'Hara, why did you aim the bat signal at the ground? Yay, he made the traffic disappear! How is that for a story, Miss Lane? <laughs> yeah, I gotta be honest, it kinda lost me. No real structure to speak of. True to his flat, the mad scientist, whose warnings have held the city in a grip of terror, went on his rampage of destruction on the stroke of midnight. Hey, fellas, is this another Orson Welles hoax? Smashed the famous tower bridge, hurling cars and... <laughs> These guys coming out of a clown car? The police have warned everyone to remain in their homes. This looks like a job for Superman. I mean, sure, maybe Superman could have intervened before people died on the bridge, especially if Lois knew where the mad scientist lived the whole time. But now that I've waited for the last possible second to tiptoe into the stockroom and change into Superman, I can finally tiptoe even more slowly to the window and save the day way too late for anyone. And here we have an iconic moment, the first time Superman ever flew, forever changing the shape of pop culture, ultimately making 1978 even more embarrassing for the makers of the cat from outer space. In the 40s, you had to use a dial to browse Zillow. Ooh, this is one precarious game of Jenga. I gotta change my visor! Oh, what? I transferred to the loose wooden beams department of Great Metropolitan Newspaper! He flew all the way to Toontown. Whew, I was almost late for the trust fall. Nobody thinks they'll need a skyscraper chiropractor, but then... Up, up, and down! Nah, you were better leaning the other way. The building changes color when it's straightened. I'm sure it'll be fine just balanced there without its foundation. Seems like a long way to go just to work on your tan. That's why they retcon the yellow sun stuff. A film climaxing with a superhero fighting a sky beam? It'll never catch on. It's Superman! Ah, crap! Why did I forget he lives in Metropolis? Better ramp up the factory mechanics, the steampunk piping, the industrial lava lamps, and the juice tubing in order to get the laser going really hard. Yeah! Ah, my one weak spot, my back! And a gentle dismount. Ha! You may have almost defeated me through a cape and another layer of clothing, but now that I have my bare fists, I'll punch your laser to death! I don't believe it! He isn't human! Yeah, you'd think the flying would have tipped you off. This is what it looks like trying to get the prank snake back in the can. Oh, he pulled the Dragon Ball meme lever. Krypton was developed to the absolute peak of balloon animal technique perfection. Can't get enough super golden crisp. That might be too deep a cut even for me. Oh God, don't pop that pimple. Gross. Now to support myself in these walls. Oh, come on. Oh, is this that Lil Nas X video where he goes to hell? I'm still in this one! Honestly, kind of an underreaction to it raining fire. Nobody move, I dropped a contact somewhere. Boy, Lois, I bet you wouldn't have gotten into this mess if you let that dashing young Kent fella join ya. I guess nobody wants to fly when these fun stairs are an option. Now 
Now, did everyone use the bathroom before we left? Aha, it's the background artist time to shine. Get on the floor, then wait your own turn to walk the dinosaur. Ah, that's the face of a man who's expecting the camera to iris out on him. At least he gets a souvenir photo. Congratulations, Lois. That was a great scoop. Yes, Chief. Thanks to Superman. <laughs> I'm sitting on the wrong side of my desk because I'm a scamp. Superman will return in Revenge of the Really Cartoony Bird Sidekick. That totally got away. <laughs> 